Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. It's two days before Thanksgiving. Candace did it again. I did. Yeah, um, we went and bought some stuff last night, and it was... <laughs> it, this is a good thing, but it was more stuff than I was expecting. <laughs> we are inundated right now. We have the best problem in the world for a reseller. If you look around the shed... We're busting at the seams. Like, look, look, we're having to sock stuff away everywhere. Y'all don't even see the stuff in the truck right now. Yeah, the stuff we picked up. Look, there's stuff on your chair, there's stuff uh, in the light box, there's, there's stuff, stuff there. Uh, we have a ton of good unlisted stuff. Yeah. Uh, at the time, you want to have a ton of good listed stuff. So we need to, all we got to do is turn this unlisted into listed, and we should be just golden, well, I think. like I told Lonnie, um, being a holiday weekend, there's no sourcing opportunities. So this is great that we were able to kind of double up on yep. our, the stuff we picked up this past week. So, um, yeah, we're going to get orders pulled. Um and then we're gonna show y'all the stuff that Candace got a ridiculously good deal. Like <laughs> I don't even know how she does it. Y'all are I don't I I've never seen a deal like this on, on face it was Facebook Marketplace. It deal. was Facebook Marketplace. It's pretty awesome. It, I'm it really excited. Is. And hopefully made a good contact in, in the um situation also for maybe some future buys. Yeah. So um yeah, you ready to get started on the order? Yes, we need to. Okay. Um one alpha we sold a franklin mint vatican melchior first one of those we sold yes. oh it's a big boy yeah in fact i just um i, I decided to go ahead and i'm cross listing those to etsy today oh i think you need to yeah. um so he saw he has an issue his little staff was broken off and it was not a clean break so i i re-glued it but it's just not a good repair because it's not a clean break so for that we we uh priced him at twenty nine ninety nine. Okay, and just to give y'all a little refresher, all of these um are from the same set. We paid a hundred and paid one fifty or one twenty five. I think it might have been. I don't remember. Okay. Either one of the two. Yeah, it was one fifty. One fifty. Yeah. Okay. No. Oh gosh. Or but it was half off day. But I think that was the half. Yeah, one fifty is what we paid. It right. Was, it was it was a family run estate. Yeah, I don't even I don't yeah. even remember how we much we paid one fifty for everything. Do you remember yeah. how much the listings were? Because I have no what idea. Let's see if I put on a spreadsheet. Okay, we just looked it up. Uh, all paid one hundred and fifty for all those, and we got five hundred in listings. Yeah. It's actually four ninety five. Four ninety five. Yeah. Um, we we could have kept it together and would have gotten less, so we decided to do this. And it seems to work with nativities. Like people need replacement pieces. I have a feeling that kids go and grab, they think they're action figures or something, you know. Well, maybe after this weekend, we'll see the sales on these, like, spike whenever people, people are getting start, their stuff out. Yep, start putting their stuff up. Um, next item is an ornament. Okay. Six Fox Trot. It's a Jim Shore sewing machine ornament. Oh, man. I've got to move some comics to get to it. Let's see. I think I see it right here. Yeah, this is one of my little finds. Yeah, Lonnie found that. Yeah. Oh, Jim Shore there. That sold for thirty nine ninety nine. Don't even remember what we paid. Uh, maybe five bucks. Yeah, I don't remember yeah. at all. Uh, pocket seventy six. This is a little pin I just listed yesterday. It's um, it's a Women's Society of Christian Services, and people have nicknamed them the Coffin and Cross Pin. Okay. So whenever you see listing. And I, I, it, maybe it is a, a coffin. I don't know what it's supposed to represent. Yeah, I know it look, it's shaped like a coffin yeah. for sure. Um, so that's all for twenty nine ninety nine. That's ten karat gold too. Ten karat gold, one point seven grams. It um, was like twenty in melt, right? Yeah, something like that. But um, I based my price on that one actually on current active and sold listings because there's a ton of them. Yeah, it's a commodity type. So they usually go for like um around thirty five to forty. Or 30 to 40. Mine was kind of scuffed a little, so I put it at the lower end. Uh, 10 Bravo. We saw the CB radio. Road King. Yeah, this is one of my questionable buys. And it worked out. Yeah, it, it did. I think I paid $25 for this CB. Yeah. I don't it's sold for $59.99. Yeah, I'm happy enough with that. Mm -hmm. MU8. Cadillac uh, grill medallion. Oh, that's a good one. M is behind you. Oh. 
I picked that up for uh, five dollars at that garage sale where we bought all the stuff and the uh, charm bracelets and everything. That was from there also. Yeah, that was a nice one. Uh, did I say the price? 50, uh, 50 59, bucks? 59, no, 99. oh, 60 bucks. Yeah. Okay, I grabbed the, this little bin for the next one because it's in there. It's kind of hard to get to. It's a vintage Portland Trailblazers warm-up jacket. Okay. And it's sold for $35.99. Navy, Yankees, Portland warm-up. There you go. Okay. Put all those back. That goes in there too. All right. I I've, got it. You got it. These next three items, we got offers this morning and I took them since they were buying three things. Um... And honestly, we didn't. We got have, this stuff cheap. We got it really cheap. It was like um at an it's estate like 50 sale cents, man. in the garage where everything is pretty much like fill a bag or fifty cents, you know. Um, so let's see, two of them are on three Delta. Three Delta. Yeah. Um, one of them is a Wilson Jones columnar sheets. Okay. And the other one is Borum and Peace columnar sheets. All right. Hang on, I got some other books on. I'm going to have to clear this off the top of it. Okay, here we go. All right, I got those. And then there's one other thing back here too, right? Three Bravo. The thing on Three Bravo. I think yeah. it's this. Yeah. I'm going to double check. Well, it's a lot of stuff. It is. Probably be really expensive if you bought it in the store. You still could buy it in the store. Is this it? Um, that looks like right, huh? Yeah, so we have um, the Wilson and Jones that was on three Delta sold for twenty five. This. Yes, the okay. other one sold for seventeen. This right here. No, the other Wilson. This one. Yep. And then the Borman piece sold for thirty. Okay, so that's a really good it's order overall. Fifty five, sixty five, seventy two dollars. Okay. Yeah. Boy, that was that ended up being good. Yeah. Glad we bought it. Mm -hmm. We didn't think it was like if you would ask me yesterday if that was a good buy, I would have said nope. The comps were like, yeah, but it was so cheap we went in and took a chance, you know. Um, next item is a Monster High Claudine Wolf for Echo. Okay. Claudine Wolf for Dust Charlie Echo. Where is she? In the band, so oh, that's right. Got her. Sell that for ten dollars. In the chest drawer, some Mr. Christmas replacement parts: a donkey and a cow. Donkey. A donkey. Mm. Yeah, that's the second time in a week we've sold Mr. Christmas replacement parts. Um, so people are pulling out their sets and. Oh, thank you. Nine ninety nine for those. Okay. You sold a hat. <laughs> How come it's me? I don't know. I probably listed it. I know. You probably did. No, actually, that's not my picture. All right. LSU National Football Champions 2007. It's purple. The Les Miles Championship. Let's see. There's a purple hat way at the bottom. It could. Yeah, it might be in there. for. Whoa. Look, man, that's yeah. a gaudy looking thing there. I know. Look at that. It's kind of cool, though. Yeah. I could see why I bought that. Look yeah. at it. Mm -hmm. I would still buy a hat like that. And it sold for $19.99. No, that's a good... Which is a very good price for a national championship yeah, hat. Yeah, it is. got Y'all, there is so much of this stuff out there. Yeah. Although this one, I've never seen... This is... I've never seen this one before or again. Right. This particular one. All right. And then we have um, two orders on Netsy. Netsy? <laughs> two orders on Etsy. Two nutcrackers. Okay. I guess we could call it Netsy because that's where we're selling our nuts. I know, really. Um, the first one is a Prussian Soldier 5 Charlie Wright. Well, I'm walking over here like I know what a Prussian Soldier <laughs> looks like. I know, you were so confident. Like, oh, I think it's probably, it might be this. It is him. Okay. Yeah. Candace, we are, re we are really selling some crackers here, man. Yeah. So he sold for fifty-five. I think I saw it. Thirty-nine ninety-nine. <laughs> no, that's not bad. Uh, and then on Five Echo, we sold Santa on a rocking horse. Five Echo, which way? You left. didn't doesn't say. It's left. Oh. Yeah, yes, he's, I, he's right behind the video games. Down in there 
out. He's in a weird spot, huh? Yeah. I, well, I gotta get these video games listed. Or let me hold these while you get him out. Okay. I'm okay. Tilt him because his head will hit. Yeah. All right. Got him. I'm just gonna set those there for now. All right, that guy sold for one forty nine ninety nine. Okay. He's a big guy, huh? He is. Big fella. All right, that's everything that's going out today, and uh, I'm gonna try and get this stuff packed, mm -hmm. or we'll get this stuff packed. Yep. And um, it's gonna be a heavy duty listing day. Oh, um, after I get it packed, we'll come back. You don't have to wait; it'll be the next few seconds. I have to wait. We'll show you all all the uh, good stuff Candace bought yesterday. Yep. All right, it's later this afternoon, and. Um, we both listed, man, actually, we listed really good today, huh? Yeah, well, it helped that I had some high number, high dollar amount things. Um, yeah, I'll show y'all real quick what Candace has been been working on. And I've, I've been working a little bit, too. I did have to stop and uh, edit some video. But yeah, check this out, y'all. We'll see. I mean, I'm predicting this stuff is going to sell pretty quick. I was thinking, like, today. <laughs> but we'll see. But look, uh, this is some of the stuff y'all have seen lately. Uh, sourcing. That's some soup bowls for $135 for four. Are you crazy? I listed some tapes. There's some more of this soup bowl stuff. I listed another tape. Some little stained glass things. And then more of uh, your DH at home stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep. I adjusted some of the prices. I ended up going to $150 on the plates. I was going to do 150 on the bowls, but they do have, the bowls were, were used. I wouldn't say heavy use, but some of the glaze on the inside is kind of worn in some spots. Mm. Um, so I went a little bit lower than I was going to on there. I went 135 and 140. And I see you listed your little turtle charm there. Yes. Um, I had a, a, oh, I tested a lot, all the gold charms we have left this morning. Um, so that I, they are ready to go and I got him listed, um, for 130 because he was 2.3 grams he's cool looking too he's he's 3d and he stands on his feet you know he's just not a flat pendant yeah so we've got so far today we've got 908 dollars in listings one plus, of, plus that 130 turtle is on another plus we've been tracking if y'all remember we went to a garage sale where we spent 400 dollars. yeah that's when we bought all the gold and the tape measures and all that stuff well we're keeping that on a separate spreadsheet yeah and uh these days don't matter they don't mean anything no. but the total does we've, we've which is listed. the tip of the iceberg i think of items i don't know about dollar amount but items it's the tip of the iceberg of what we've gotten listed out of that stuff so far yeah but most of the, yeah I mean, yeah i think the dollars have mostly gone in but although we do still have gold to list we do i have what maybe five pieces or something one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve more gold charms left to list. Oh. Plus the two silver bangles. I haven't even touched those yet. Okay. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the tip of the iceberg, I think. As far as items, I don't I think maybe our two higher dollar or three have been listed, these right here. Um, but yeah. Awesome, awesome. Uh, so haul. so far we're at thirteen hundred and seventy eight dollars in listings from the four hundred dollar buy. 26 items yeah. and a lot of it sold yeah a lot of it actually mm -hmm. we probably sold we've sold well over 400 dollars already yeah because one of the things was a 300 dollar uh charm so yeah. uh but moving on to some new news uh that we just keep bringing stuff into the shed so um the facebook gods really smiled on me on this one um, open marketplace, just scrolled down a little bit and there it was, it, I think it had just gotten listed, you know, posted. Mm -hmm. Um, what I, we're about to show you everything. We got all of this stuff for $25. That's ridiculous. It's all new product. Um, and it's something we're pretty familiar with, yep. you know? Um, so let's go take a look. Okay. Uh, we have more animal stuff from PetSmart. Yeah. Look at this. That's Mixed ridiculous, yeah. Candace. Yeah, all of this for twenty five. Plus, um, this is a whole bag of like toys, also. Now, most of it's Halloween, so I don't. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with that. But um. And it the toys are 
mostly like they're kind of cheap stuff right like these uh i don't know if i have more this is a franchise you can sell all the time you know right um i don't know i haven't figured out what i'm gonna do with the toys but let's kind of go through everything so yeah we've got that bag of toys and i just set a couple up here just to kind of show y'all an example of stuff we have um and some of the stuff they threw in i didn't even know we were getting and they said they may have more stuff for us they did they clearly did not care about the money at all they like, just wanted to get rid of it and it was kind of interesting um they bought a storage unit yeah and that's where this stuff came from yep but they're not resellers right so i think they just do it for fun or something or they got know. they probably wanted some other stuff out of the storage unit and then had to take everything right so here we are these collars and harnesses are a brand called yuli it's a pretty good brand yeah, I, we've not had any of that before. So there's like, what, one, two, three, six pieces there. Um, here, there's also some of these little small pet costumes. Mm -hmm. um, there's one random ready hoodie. Now, this is a really good brand, too, Canada Pooch. We haven't had that yet, either. Um, this is a no-pull harness. And then this is like a raincoat that um, when it gets wet, it changes colors like it becomes more colorful these are worth we could probably get 20 to 25 for these two pieces here yeah a piece and then this is a sweater in that yuli brand again all right moving on to the bigger stuff we have four one two three four of these arcadia trail shade tents did you look these up yeah i, I think we can easily get at least 25 dollars a piece for those okay and then um we have Do they have a picture of it set up on no them? that's what i was thinking we might have to set one oh up. look you can see it right here yeah it, it, does it give the dimensions mm, i don't know it probably does somewhere i might be able to find it online too you know oh look it says c reverse you could probably pull that card out it shows you how to set it up and it gives you a little more yeah okay. but we whenever we do the listings we need to take a picture of both sides of that card yeah um, so yeah, we have four of those. Here's the other one up here. Um, we have these booster seats, which I, I really think I'm keeping one of them. We've been talking about getting one. Um, and for Pippin to ride in the front of the truck? Or even the back seat. He likes, he's so short he can't see out the window. Yeah. So I think he would like that. We have yeah, two of those. See how high it gets them? Yeah. Um, those are, that's a brand Cord Kurgo, which is a really good brand. Um, these on their website, they have them for 60. I think we can probably get what, 25, 25 to 30. 30. Yeah. Yep. We have two of those. We have one of these, um, up and about dog lifters. It's to help a dog get in the vehicle that can't like, mm -hmm. maybe they have arthritis or just same brand Kurgo yeah, again, just to help them or to help them get up steps. You know, it's just to help dogs out that can't get up anymore. Um, and then we have, I don't know how many, we eight, five, eight, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, nine? nine. No, wait. No, that's not right. Seven. Yeah, One, that's two, right. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, we have seven of these. They're um, aquarium. It's like the whole setup for you. Um, we have three, uh, five of these lost in space ones. And it's got like your space scene. Yeah, like they've the got planets and stuff. And planets and stuff, yeah. That's pretty neat. And then the other one we have Mod Madness. We have two of these Mod Madness. And um, there are comps for this stuff. This stuff this stuff does sell. Yeah. Um I I think we can get 20 to 25 a piece for these mm -hmm. plus not plus shipping. Yeah. Yeah. So conservatively speaking here 140 190 200 300. I mean easily I would say easily 300 plus yeah. dollars yeah. without a whole. And that's not even counting all the toys. No. We, we, I may post pull out the ones I think we can sell now and donate the rest to a dog shelter or something. Yeah. Um, because of, it's just like I told Lonnie, if they were not themed, this would be perfect time of year to go get like Dollar Tree stockings and make stockings for dogs to sell like a bundle. Um, but yeah, but them being Halloween i'm kind of limited so. what a score yeah what a score 25 dollars. I've, I've still just blown away and these are the nicest people too like we got out we talked to them for 
we were out there talking for a good 10 minutes or so yeah and they were, were telling we were telling them about what we do as resellers and this and that we got the contact info and yep you know so hopefully yeah. we hear from them again i don't know if it was a one-time thing that are they just gonna plan on keep buying storage units i don't i don't know what was up with that situation yeah but it was man what a deal yeah i can't i can't believe you scored this i know I'm excited. <laughs> this is one of like the most impressive deals for i've seen from facebook marketplace just as far as like especially now it used to be like that when it first started mm -hmm. you used to be able to find deals i mean not like this but good deals now most of the stuff being sold on there is by resellers right know? It, 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 these people did not care though about mm -hmm. the the they, twenty five dollars. They just said that you know, like she, they were trying to declutter. She didn't want the stuff sitting around. They just wanted it gone. Yeah. So, yeah. Good, we were good, there for them. Good. Yeah, we're there for you. <laughs> <laughs> good job, Candace. <laughs> All right, now Candace is. Boy, it's nice having that that screen that you can move on the camera, huh? Yeah. Wanted to show you all the pugs since Candace has them all cleaned up and ready to roll. And they're all in good condition. Yep. No broken parts or missing pieces that I know of. Well, the only issue, I did find one minor issue. This one, he's got a little oh. mess up on his little candy cane bone there. That's the only thing I saw as I was cleaning them. That's just like a scuff or something. Yeah. So. That's 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 no big deal. These are these are really pretty cool, Candace. So our only competition is um, someone has all twenty four, but there are some severely broken, like missing legs and tails and stuff. And then another set of twenty four, but they don't really have the set because two are duplicates, so they really have twenty three. And they're asking three hundred. Right, which is the price we're going to be at. Yeah, yep. but we have an actual complete complete set. set. Yep. With no issues other than, I mean, I, you can, I would call attention to that, I guess. Oh, I will. But really, it's just a like a scuff or um, a little paint rub. The rub. reason that these are, are good um, quality is because they're not just like resin painted. This is actual, I mean, look, I don't know, y'all probably can't pick it up, but there's like, there's like fur almost, like the, the detail of the resin. Mm -hmm. And it's not just painted, like that's the color of it, you know. And even the parts that are different colors, not not like the bone, but like their ears and stuff, you can tell it's like baked on or something, you know. I think it is painted, but I think it's baked. Right. Baked in right. is what it is, right? Yeah. yeah. Those came out really good because they were pretty dusty. Yeah. They, they, had, they had a ton of dust. You can tell that box they were in, it had been stored without the lid, probably in an attic, and just had like, you know how you get right. attic dust and gunk. They came out great. Candace, well, you spent like an hour cleaning them the other day, huh? Yeah, I took a little soft toothbrush and a bowl of warm soapy water and just, you know, cleaned them and got in all the little nooks and crannies with that toothbrush. They, so, they're perfect. Yep. They're perfect. So now's the part where you have to figure out, I plan on using all 24 pictures, how many dogs, because I want to do front and back shots. So you, I have to do math now. You know what you need to do also? What? Put the most important 12 or because I, I imagine this is going to be something we want to throw up on Etsy too. Mm -hmm. Cause I think this is like, this might, well, how old are these? Do you know? I have no idea. Um, so because of that, uh, I might not even, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Cause I've run into that. Like, um, Etsy doesn't allow near as many pictures no. as eBay. And like I cross listed a Bible that's, very old so i did a lot of the, and the cover was in pretty rough shape and so i did a lot of detailed pictures of the cover and the next picture that showed up in etsy was the inside title page and then my pictures of any of the pages after that there just wasn't room so somebody messaged me they're like and they're they they, they their message was like you were trying to be like deceptive. i was hiding something like right why do you have so many pictures of the cover why didn't you take pictures of the pages which is it's a valid question it is but i don't like i didn't like their tone and the way they came the way they worded it i felt like it was very accusing like i was intentionally right. doing that instead of just hey can i see what the inside looks like right yeah yeah i saw i read it too it, i found it off-putting yeah but you know i mean we do get 
Actually, no, we don't get that many messages like that. No, we don't. But it, 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 I have to re keep that in the back of my mind when I am cross-listing like these nutcrackers that did have issues mm -hmm. to Etsy. I have to make sure the pictures that do show up are the ones showing any the flaws. The most important, too. Or any flaws. Right. Yeah. So that's the... Usually cross-listing is not too bad. You can kind of like go through it pretty fast until you but you have to keep in the back of your mind to keep an eye out for things like that right so all right good morning y'all it is day two of the video good morning candace good morning uh it's day before thanksgiving and we have a few orders that we need to get out yep and we're also going to be listing a lot today we have a heavy listing day yeah. <laughs> hopefully we need to have a heavy listing day another day like yesterday yeah yeah well, for me, too. I I didn't list near as much as I wanted to yesterday. Yeah. You ready to get started? Let's go. Okay. Uh, first item is racing stickers in the racing sticker box A7. Okay, move the old hat. <laughs> it's like every other day I'm grabbing the other box and moving the hat over the other side. A7. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of four NHRA stickers. Yep, got them. It's all those for ten dollars. All right, let me go put this up. And one Charlie, um, that power tape measure you listed yesterday sold. Yeah, I did list this yesterday at least, and it sold yesterday. Uh, new in package, but the batteries were nasty, corroded. In the bottom, so I just cut a. You can see Candace through the little hole <laughs> that I cut in there. That's all for twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, we only paid a couple of dollars for that too. Yeah, like two dollars, I think. Um, we sold a Evan Rue Johnson outboard shop repair manual three Bravo. This guy right here. This was actually part of the buy we did. Um, for the gold yes <laughs> the four hundred dollar buy and that one sold for 29.99 uh one of those sealed reels sold five bravo left it's columbia magnetics five bravo left oh yeah i put it on top right here okay that sold for 14.99 right your Pokemon card lot auction ended last night. It's in there in the Joe drawer. Those ended up going for $22. Okay, I was happy with that. We paid uh, $2 a thing, so $4 for these. We turned into $22. Yep. Uh, we sold the other Hamburglar, Cactus Plant Flea Market Hamburglar, MU8. Right here. Boy, it's going to be an easy little packing day here. I know. Not a huge sales day, a but... Smalls, well, a few bigger things. Well, them. actually, we did sell more than this yesterday, but we, we did pack some of the orders yesterday, yeah, too. Yeah, we, we're going to pack them if we can the day we get them in. Um, and then in the Digimon drawer, a Mr. Christmas half-pipe power supply. And why don't you grab that? Yeah. got a, kind of a mess there. going on over there. Hopefully we're going to clear that out a little bit. Is this that is it, half pipe? Okay. Oh, it says it on the side. Yep. Cool. All right. And that sold for fourteen ninety nine. So that's all we got going out, huh? That's it. Okay. You know what? We have such a little amount. Maybe I'll do. Uh, I'm gonna throw a little packing in here. Let me show y'all how I pack easy stuff on a light day. Yeah. There you go. Okay. We are gonna have some easier packs today. I'm actually gonna use. These are smaller, so I'm actually going to use one of these envelopes here. And, uh, you know, this is stiff enough to protect those just fine. So it's easy as this. Let's see, where's the fold point? Yeah, we're good. Easy as doing that. Not much to see on this one. Okay, for the tape measure, we're just going to use a 12 10 4 box, good size. And I think my tape is about to run out. So I've got to reinforce the roll handy. And we're 
just going to do a little thing of bubble wrap on it. Put it this way. That'll work. And paper. And I've been using this paper from Granger. I'm telling y'all, it's such a great deal. It's so much cheaper than when I used to buy it in the rolls from Sam's Club. Very good deal now. Right. Easy pack here. I actually use this... Uh, 12 10 4 box a ton now with ground advantage for a few reasons number one it fits a lot of things and number two um, it's really good whenever you want to uh, send something that's heavy and dense and qualify for the uh, cubic rates priority and uh, ground advantage cubic rates and next up is the outboard motor shop manual and I'm just going to put that into a poly mailer and then into a Gemini comic mailer I'm assuming it's going to fit. You know what? It may be a bad... No, it's a bad fit. It's a bad fit. It doesn't fit. Neither one of those are going to fold fine. Hang on a second. Okay, so let's change of plans. This happens sometimes. Uh, we're just going to use one of these vinyl mailers. And I think this should do fine. No, it's too big for that too. No, it's not. It's fine on this. Did I not fold this right? Oh, I guess I had a bad fold. Oh, it does seem like it's too big there. That's weird. But then this folded over fine. Hmm. Okay, that's good. It's fine. My other choice was to go 12 10 4 box again. But I definitely I definitely like to use some cardboard when it comes to books. I do. I we've actually gotten quite a few books delivered to us and nothing but like a poly mailer and honestly <laughs> they all got here fine, but I don't like to ship books like that. Okay, that's done. Okay, next up is this reel. And I do have that comic mailer we just aborted using. We're still going to use it. We're going to use it for this. These Gemini comic mailers are great for shipping reels. I use them all the time to ship reels. That, that, and that. That's it. Never had any complaints shipping reels like this. Yeah, I knew it. I was ready for it. I actually just looked on American Bubble Boy's website and they have the six packs of the three inch in in stock. They're still out of the 24 packs. So hopefully we're going to be getting those in soon. Because I'm using this other, this Shermax. The Shermax 3 inch tape and not loving it. I mean, it works fine, 
but it's so thin it doesn't lay down flat. All right, that's done. Okay, next up is Pokemon cards. Going to use an 864 box. I need to do another what I use packing supply type video because since the ground advantage we've been using it so much things have kind of changed as far as what boxes we use now one thing that's never changed I've always used a ton of 864s I don't see that changing anytime soon Eight six fours, twelve ten fours. What else? Twelve twelve twelves. Ten eight sixes. Bubble mailers. Gemini comic mailers. Twelve twelve whatever vinyl mailers. Uh, the eBay standard envelope mailers. That covers probably 90% of the packages we ship. One box I do I am out of right now are my 644s, which is not a big deal because I could just use other boxes. But 644s are great for small products. But I do have I don't even remember. I don't even remember why I have these. I don't remember where I got them either. They're these eight, four, four, eight boxes. And to be honest, they're fairly flimsy. They're not very strong at all. Uh, but they're good for stuff like this. Like Hamburglar here. They're a little too tall. But I have a bunch of them and I want to, uh, I want to use them. I'm going to get rid of them. I've had them for years, and they just sit there. But they, they work fine for small, light stuff like this. And one good thing about them, the boxes are really flimsy, but they're also super-duper light. And this guy will probably ship, I th maybe, maybe four ounces. Let me take a look. I'm not even sure. Oh man, it's gonna be hmm. oh 0.24. Yep, four ounce ship. Okay, one more of these. But yeah, I need my uh I need the 644s are better boxes. But I probably have about 50 of these that I would like to use. Okay. Nothing too interesting to see here, I guess. So we're almost done. That. A little paper. Print that label. Be right back. All right, there they all are. Fast packing today, which means more time to list, and we have a lot to list. All right, I am working on um, some of this pet stuff now. About to get this stuff listed. We have multiples of those aquarium things. Uh, we did get. After I took the photos, I looked, happened to look at eBay, and I did see we had some more orders that came in. Two more while I was uh, taking those photos. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those now. One of them is the Cotton Country Collection cookbook that sold for, I think, $13.49. $15 with a 10% offer, I think. And then the other thing is a Christmas ornament 
So another reason I want to go ahead and get this out, especially if it's Christmas related, because uh, they probably want it for Christmas decorating. Probably gonna have to go to this other side here. And we do have a ton of Christmas related items right now. Okay, five Bravo, there we go. This Waterford, um, is it Waterford Crystal or something? I don't know. It's a Waterford Holiday Heirlooms Christmas ornament that sold for $39.99. Candace paid, man, I don't remember what she paid for it, but we made a, we made a pretty good profit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff packed. All right, it's a few hours later. We've had a good listing day today because we had not too many orders to get out. Uh, I think we only had nine go out the door. Uh, which meant I got to focus on listing for the whole day, pretty much. Yep. Didn't have to edit video either, so. Yeah, that uh, doesn't happen too often. No, no, it doesn't. So, got this. This was the cookbook. Picked up the other day. Got that listed for 50. Decided I'm going to lot these up. We have six of these. I thought they were a little better, but now when I looked them up again, 15 to $20. A piece and I saw somebody lotted up seven that were a little newer on average than ours and they got 120 so we have six I'd much rather just lot six up for a hundred bucks and be done yeah and I think somebody will buy them and they'll appreciate getting just one shipping charge too right. easily like that so um, look this is my listing total today I'm not I probably you know what honestly I probably won't list those today I, but, th I think you need to take the rest of the day off. Look, eight, $862.23 listings. Now, some of that is cheating because we do have a lot of uh, the pet stuff. Yeah, like the, all the $30 ones there are the um, fish tank stuff. Right. I'll, I'll go. Let's see. Let me see. We, we, man, we did. We, we did got great some today. listings up today, yeah. I'll show you. Okay, it starts right here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, uh toy this is the aquarium aquarium arcadia trail shade tent candace did a dolphin for 150 there's some more dog stuff there a dremel shoe shot man we got some crazy variety yeah we have some variety 185 for this uh birds on a branch charm booster seat oh i listed the mat the mass suit from juke performance for 150 the lows and we got some good stuff up today yeah man what is our listing total some more charm more gold 125 rainbow Rainmate. i listed that Kansas listed this buddha or not buddha this hindu charm for 70 yeah look at this this is all today we're, we're oh look that sailboat is cool Mm -hmm. that's a that, nice that's a nice looking piece that one's super light too huh yes i remember that one or not super light i guess it's 1.3 grams mm -hmm. but uh yeah that's what we've been doing today that's our kind of our last push before thanksgiving because today is i don't know if we said it or not today is wednesday yep yeah, tomorrow's thanksgiving we're not gonna work tomorrow and we're not gonna work the next day or the next day or the next day yeah i think we're taking the whole weekend off i did want to show y'all that 400 dollars garage sale buy where we got the charm bracelet this is our total we're at right now on that twenty three forty three um, gross. That's not all. That's not all charms though. No, it's not. It's other stuff too. Um, charms uh, listed and sold is now at eighteen hundred. That's just the gold ones, and that's not including these three that I haven't listed yet. Mm -hmm. um, this one I haven't listed because I don't know what the symbol is or what it is. If y'all like pants. It kind of does look like pants, and it's but it's got a line like all the way down. Um, somebody said maybe lucky number eight, like a Chinese lucky number eight symbol. I, I looked, I don't think that's what it is. Um, and then these two, I tested them and I didn't like my results, so I didn't say a word to Lonnie. I let him test them, and he got the same results. They're not marked, but they are tested out at at least 18 carat. Right. So what we're planning on doing with these two is we have a little local jeweler here. I'm going to call them and see about getting them tested over there and see what they find and maybe even sell it to them. If they yeah, because they're not like great charms. 
This one has some stones on it or enamel or whatever that's kind of damaged. Yeah, that side looks beautiful. Um, the other side, you can kind of see right here, the enamel is all kind of wearing off. And this is a, to me, this canoe is not pretty. It's it's funky looking. It's one of those Polynesian uh, Hawaiian type canoes. I yeah. don't know what they're called. So, yeah, that's that's what we have left of the gold. And then I'm going to move on to the silver next week. I'll tell you what, though, that she does have a little different look it's a, to it's her. It's a pretty color gold. It's, the gold looks a little different. Yeah. It, it hits a little different. Yep. Oh, well, we were just talking for a second. We did say we weren't going to work Friday, but we are. Yeah, we're going to work at least pro uh, probably half a day uh, because yeah. the mail does run that day. So we're going to come in and pull orders. Yeah. Get some listings up. We may not work the whole day. You know what? I'll try and get my cookbooks up that mm -hmm. day. Yeah. And uh, maybe a few other things. But we're we're making a nice little dent in our pile of stuff. Well, this is all <laughs> actually uh, stuff to be donated. You know? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is not stuff that needs to be listed. So, and that, that this down here is empty. Well, so, we need to get, when we get back next week, we need to clean this place up. Yeah, we need to uh, make a, a run to um, the Goodwill or wherever we're going to donate this stuff. Um, I want to go, while we're doing that, I'm going to go through the pet stuff and um, maybe drop that off. at. Um, yeah. I listed most of the pet stuff that had any value today. And um, there, there might be a few more pieces. There might be like, what, maybe 60 more dollars in there or something. Yeah, there's some collars and stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, I think I was at like three ninety in listings, so it's gonna be probably a little over four hundred mm -hmm. off of Candace's little. And they were fast too. I didn't and, spend a bunch of time. And you're keeping some. And Pippin gets a booster seat for the car so he can see out the window. Right. He's always like standing on the um, door, and he he'll roll the window down or unlock the doors. Yeah, or it's uncomfortable for him. Yeah. So we're we're actually gonna we're actually going on a. Uh, we're going somewhere this weekend camping and we're gonna try out our uh i guess our booster seat on that trip huh yeah see how he does in it okay see if he likes it all right well that's gonna be it for this one thanks a bunch for watching hope uh let's see the uh, timing of this yeah it thanksgiving's in the past i hope y'all had a great thanksgiving <laughs> yeah we're, we're we're uh we're just about to experience ours tomorrow so thanks a bunch for watching uh and we'll see y'all very soon bye y'all Bye.